Woolly hat weather, folks. Welcome back, you lovely lot. It is a very breezy, but very beautiful weekend morning. And I'm not alone. I'm joined by the lovely Jelly, the metal detective. And as I said on my previous video, which you will have seen by now, she's got her own YouTube channel now, so go over and show her the love. We're back on her permission. You'll recall last time we were here, I found a stonking great hammered coin, which she's never let me forget. <laughs> and she was very magnanimous and let me take it home with me. So we come back, she's let me back once more. Um, and we've come to some different fields. It's a nice big perm, there's lots and lots of fields about. We've come to a different place, it's breezy, it's beautiful. We've got a few hours, let's see how we get on. So thanks as always for joining me. Welcome back to Notch to 11 and we'll see you in a bit. Well, we're off and running. There she is, a lovely jelly. Such a nice lady and proper good fun. And she lets me come on her permission, which is uh, very, very kind of her. Um, she's sporting her Knox 700. I'm on the Deus 2. Didn't tell you that, did I? Got the old Deus 2 out, my old friend. Such a lovely machine, nice and stable, nice and quiet, unlike the Manticore. And then when you find something, it lets you know you got it. Talking of which, and it's not the best start, but we'll take it. It's a tiny little button, it was a 61. I first saw the silvery bit when it came out of the ground, so I thought, oh, hello, we're off and running. But it's a button, and we'll take it, and we'll move on. So we weren't quite sure whether we were going to film today or not, to be honest. I've, we thought we might just have a uh, a day of not, of not YouTubing for a change. Um, but walked straight on the field, did an intro, <laughs> and then found a 91. So, um, yeah, what do you do? And you know, I'm loyal to my subscribers. You know, if, you, if there's something that needs to be found and shown, well, you need to see it. So we got a 91 there, pretty stable. Let's dig it. And with a 91, you just have to dig it, don't you? Uh, nice, easy digging. We've got um, some stubble that's left over. And it's still quite firm, has to be said, but the dais tends to cope well with it. Um, and yeah, and we've got a dish-shaped thing that's come out. So is it button? It looks pretty green, so I'm thinking it's coin. Yeah, that's a coin. He says, yeah, definitely. Just give it a weep on the trousers. And it's so nice to be out, despite it being a bit fresh. Temperature is dropping now, so we've had the rain and now been replaced by plummeting temperatures. Yeah, looks a bit crusty. I'll give it a squirt. If there's anything there, I'll let you know. Failing that, we're on the coins. We're happy. We're moving on. Well, you can probably just see the ghost of somebody facing right. I don't know whether that's coming through or not. Uh, you could when it was completely wet, but it seems to be drying out a bit quite quickly. But, yeah, there's someone facing right. So I'm going to call George the third half penny, and we'll have a proper look at it back at the ranch. See you in a bit. Oh, looks can be deceiving. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely stunning morning. Looks beautiful. But it is cold. Bitter wind sweeping in off the coast, which is a few miles away. Um, yeah, anyway, what have we got? Uh, what was it? An 84. And that is a stonking great big lead button, I think. A lead button, lead bullet. Yeah, you can see the rings on it, look. Yeah, massive. You would not want to be hit by that. Yeah, beautiful. Still got something in the inside there by the looks of it. Little iron or whatever. Yeah, nice. Don't mind that at all. Bit of munition on the fields of Essex. Cool, excellent. Right, let's see if we can find some more. Right, we're just having a bit of a mooch actually today. We've just been in and out of one field, which was pretty stubbly. This has also got a bit of stubble on it, but it's also um, a bit ploughed as well. So we're kind of in and out of ploughed lanes. Had an 89, um, couldn't find it anywhere. And then it was on the sitting on the shovel basically. So I just flicked it off and I can see a green disc staring back at me. So I thought I'd take us in together as we've got a nice green, very green I would say, little coin ball, a uh, little coin clod shot. Yeah, nice. We don't mind that. Uh, yeah, not much of an imprint, if that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's, uh, it's, again, apologies for the snuffles, getting the sun, because it's blooming blowing a gale and it's cold. And the notch to 11 nose is running. 
yeah, not sure. George V or Queen Vic, maybe, because it's quite green. Half penny size. Again, I'll give you a squirt. If there's anything there, I'll be right back to you. No, crusty as you like. Moving on. Well, as you can probably see from uh, the camera, it's so windy today. And it's a real bitter wind. The, uh, the temperature has dropped right down here in the UK. To single figures, in fact, it's closer to zero than it is to ten, put it that way. Uh, and that cold wind is chilly at, at best. Um, I wasn't going to do any live digs today. Uh, we, in fact, we originally we, we kind of agreed that we probably wouldn't even film today. Just have a nice kind of uh, no pressure dig, but can't resist the temptation, can I? Um, so it won't be a huge amount of B-roll or anything like that, but it'll be pretty much a no frills video similar to what I did a little while ago, but that said, I got a nice 88 and the day is two, so I thought, well, I've got my tripod. Let's just flick it out and just see if we get another coin. Yeah, nice 88, a convincing 88, although it might not be a convincing find, of course. Right, is it in there, is it? Let's have a look. Yeah. There we are. And we got an edge. So let me bring you in closer and we'll have a proper look. So there we are. That's what we got. That's why I couldn't resist getting the tripod out because I thought it looked like it might be a coin. Yeah, and a coin it is. And in fact, I'd go so far immediately to say that is a love token. A copper love token, just from that that bend in it, that unmistakable, unmistakable kind of S shape uh, that you get from a love token. That is it. Oh, that's awesome! Really pleased. That's the third coin. Fantastic. I mean, it's it looks like the soil's not that kind to the coppers in this particular side of the farm, uh, but I will give it a squirt. But nonetheless, we've got a lovely little copper love token. So, whoever fashioned this wasn't that well off because he didn't do a silver one and whoever received this obviously didn't think much of it and she probably chucked it in the field bless her right let's move on there she is no joy for jelly as yet bits and bobs although she has found a fantastic little farthing george v 1920 something absolutely beautiful in mint condition i would say uh, and lovely in green uh, but not much else for her. I just had a shocker. Thought I had a 65. Thought I was on the hammered coins. Until I picked it up. And saw that. But that's okay. It's at a button. It's about four or five of those I've had now. Well, buttons, not, not pewter ones like this. Um, yeah, and we're enjoying it. See you in a bit. I said I wouldn't do any B-roll today, didn't I? So... Don't take that as B-roll, just take that as a whacking great weed. Uh, and right next to that whacking great weed was a 90. And I've turfed it out. And I think we're on our fourth coin. And we don't mind that at all. It looks a bit farthing sized to me. Yeah. Again, another little crusty coin of some description. Hard to say. But I suspect, and oh, there might be something on it actually, yeah, there might be something on it. I'll give it a squirt, and I'll come back to you if we can find anything. Failing that, it's a fourth coin, and we're happy with that, and it seems to be getting colder. <laughs> See you in a bit. Next one. 90, 91. About there. I'm going to attempt uh, to dig it uh, using the phone on my chest mount. I don't normally do these types of digs, as you all know, but I couldn't be bothered to get my tripod out. And it's a 90, so it's the kind of figures you want to you wanna film, really. Although it was a bit... Yeah, it's out. Still a 91. Uh, yeah, it could be a coin, but of course it could be cack. Oh, dear. Well, I can see green already. There we are. You can see it. There it is. 
What are you? What are you? Oh, you are you button or coin? Let's get the thingy off. You are button. Oh well, I've got a few buttons now, which I don't tend to film, but that was a live D. And we don't mind that at all, still got the shankage. Yeah, and we'll take it, we don't mind that. Right, uh, Jelly's proper rapid, I don't know where she's gone. Oh, she's there. She's right in the distance, over there. She's proper rapid on the knocks. And old Slowy Slowerson here is on the buttons. See you in a bit. There's Jelly. Jelly's had to walk away because the machines don't like each other. XP and Mine Lab just, just, just don't get on in more ways than one. Anyway, just thought I'd show you this. Jelly's found a lovely pop mend. Big old chunky one as well. And we'll see what, that's what we think it is. Uh, yeah, cool. So we're running out of time. It's three hours have gone in a blink of an eye and we've got about an hour left. So uh, we're turning for home. We're going to go through yet another field. It'll be about a third or fourth field. And see if we can winkle up a couple more. So we'll see you in a bit. Have I mentioned it's cold? <laughs> I'm freezing. We were just saying our faces have literally gone numb. <laughs> anyway, I uh, had an 85. We're on the, the last field now before we get back to the car. And I think we might be on our, another coin, he says. But I have had a lot of buttons, which you wouldn't have seen as well. So it could well be. No, no, that's a coin. It's a bit of a glue, uh, gooey field, this one. Um, but it's a coin. It's another copper one, though. Would have liked it to be silver, but it's not. Not so far anyway. And it's got that dark green patina to it, which suggests it might be a, a Vicky. But we're going to have to clean that one up at the ranch because we haven't got time. So, uh, yeah, it's another little half penny, whatever it is. Copper coin, probably Victorian. And we'll take it. 86. Proper history. Musket ball. Well, we're in the last knockings now. I uh, had one in about 6, 59, 60. It looks to be a tiny little buckle or part of one. Looks like it might have snapped off there. But yeah, we're desperately running out of time. The sun, let me just show you. Over there somewhere is about to go. And we're about to lose the light. And then we're about to run out of time. But we've had a great dig. So we've got about 20 minutes. So hopefully one or two more finds. Failing that, uh, we'll have to move on. But uh, yeah, thanks as always. Stick with me though, because we might have one or two more, and obviously we'll have a round up, so we'll see you in a bit. Do we look cold? <laughs> Freezing, in fact. It is bitter, but brilliant. Had a great time, thank you so much. As always, The Metal Detective, YouTube. Uh, I'll put a link in today's description so you can go and find Jelly's channel. Um, only new to it. Uh, but she's got an Instagram as well. She's picking up some subs and she's got some amazing land. So there's going to be lots and lots of stuff to be found for her. So give her a follow. That would be amazing. And uh, thanks as always. We've had a great day. Only four, four or so hours. Proper cold. But I've had plenty of coins, plenty of buttons and some other bits and bobs that we'll clean up when we get back home. So for now, we're going to run for the car because we're just about to lose the light. And we'll see you soon. Okie dokie then. Well, thanks again, Jelly. Absolutely Lovely few hours. I think we started kind of very late morning uh, and finished just as the sun was dipping down, just about 4 p.m. So just over four hours, I think it was. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyable few hours. Pretty easy digging. Um, and actually did all right. Yeah, we did uh, plenty in Cat Corner there. I don't remember throwing much, if anything, away. So I don't think, I think this is pretty much it. So a few bits of shrapnel and those kinds of things few bits of lead and those kinds of things um, and an absolute ton of buttons uh, what we've got there three three six nine twelve fourteen buttons pretty good uh, massive great lead bullet lovely and a musket ball a squashed thimble 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 which I neglected to film pretty battered though tiny little bit of a buckle which we don't mind which came out towards the end and then five coins Two beyond repair, uh, half penny and a farthing. Then we've got a Vicky, 1861, half penny. Might just about see a bust coming through there if I bring you out into the light. There you are, but not that great. Um, George the Third, 
And again, see his bus coming through in the light. Apologies, it's late afternoon here in the UK. Yeah, not bad. Don't mind that at all. And then also that lovely little copper love token. Not silver, sadly, and very blank, as they often are. I suspect it's probably a William III. Uh, they often are as well. But yeah, quite happy with that. So five coins, some bits and bobs, tons of buttons, and a jolly good time with jelly. Um, thanks as always for joining me. Don't forget, uh, Black Friday has now come and gone, as has Cyber Monday. So the LP discount code is back up and running again. The 10% code, Notched10, which will save you 10% on most things with Christmas coming up. And of course, don't forget Artisil. Um, all the details in the description. You can also get 10% off the amazing um, product that actually brings lots of these lovely coppers and things like that and your artifacts back to life again. So thanks again. See you on the next one. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.